doing blokey voices? Well, not necessarily blokey, but whatever. Which are my uh, yeah, maybe if you grab these ones. That is working double tight. Skull and black coffee as he smokes his pipe. I know you're in his blood. Like a cigarette ripping up his hide. Okay, different day, different shirt, uh, same studio, same me. Um, gonna talk about Steelworks Kids, another uh, track from the new album. Okay, this is um, a song about Snez's upbringing in Port Kembla, Steelworks. She wants to keep it really simple. When she does it live, uh, she just does it with a bodron. And if I'm there, I'll be like banging a tambourine or something and just vocals and, and bodger, and it's only a couple of minutes long. So we want to keep it simple, but it always gets a bit bigger than you think it would. You know, I spend a lot of time rehearsing and working on my stories and my songs and how it's all going to work out in a timeline with a thread throughout every song and story. And this song was born out of that idea, trying to create something visually different to the regular acoustic guitar and vocals and I pulled out the bodron and started mucking around with the Steelworks kid idea. We put the bodron on, so Snez put a bodron on, uh, where is it? Bodron, there it is. Nice fat sound, yeah. So she put that on, like and she put a, a vocal on, a rough vocal, it wasn't a good day for her vocal wise but it actually it sounded great I thought because she just yelled it out and belted it out. So we're still arguing about whether she's going to replace it or not. We tried to keep the production fairly simple. I put on my vocals and the bodron and we put a, you know, some toms on and I really wanted some sound effects, some cold, hard, industrial type sounds to add as a layer underneath um, because there's nothing much else in it. And of course I've got Stuart in to put in a few backing vocals and some blokey voices, which he does very well. Uh, I'm still not convinced that my vocal is the right vocal yet. We may roam far and wide, and travel across a city dressed in style. We may roam far and wide, but we'll always be the still white kids. Who the hell is that? <laughs> <coughs> what more? It's Marcus Cop. Can we just do uh, that one last one again? I'll just do an even deeper voice. Steelworks, Steelworks kids, will always be the Steelworks kids. Steelworks! We may roam far and wide, travel across the city dressed I, I, I want to take... Steelworks! Yeah, I want to take that harmony right down. It's starting to sound like a choir. Yeah, harmony. yeah. Bodron. Put a tambourine on there. Starting to get funky. It's funky still works. And a shaker to get it move off. And that was pretty much all. There's no uh, tuned instruments. Over the last couple of years, I've been reminiscing about my my culture and heritage and where I grew up and. The steelworks was a large part of our lives. Uh, my, my dad worked at the steelworks, the Port Kembler and Wollongong steelworks, probably from the time he migrated to Australia up until he retired. And it's the industry that clothed and fed us as a family, regardless of all the health and environmental controversies in our community. The smokestack was the backdrop of our lives with its soot flying everywhere in the streets and on our cars and landing everywhere. Okay. Steelworks kids. Dad is working double tight. Skull and black coffee as he smokes his pipe. Iron ore in his blood. Yeah, we may roam far and wide, travel across the city dressed in style. We may roam far and wide, but we'll always be the steelworks kids. Mama's in the kitchen rolling dough. Three kids under five hanging up her clothes. 
table. 